Walking the labyrinth, any labyrinth, is a curious thing. It is a distinctive kind of maze. Its purpose is singular, as is its path. Thus, it isn't the kind of game we typically think of when envisioning a maze, hoping we make the right choices to reach the end. As a matter of fact, a labyrinth does not have an end per se. It has a center. And as long as you follow the path, you will reach the center every time. There's a kind of mindlessness to the labyrinth. But there is a purpose in the mindlessness. The labyrinth, paradoxically, stirs up a new kind of mindfulness, an awareness of the path that opens its pilgrims into a deeper sense of the surroundings in which they find themselves. In short, the path of the labyrinth is the process of discovery. Its path is process itself. We walk the labyrinth to discover anew the world we inhabit. We walk it to discover what we thought was previously undiscoverable, what we didn't even know was there. Which is why we can walk the same labyrinth, time and again, and still find the path new. What starts as leisure turns to discipline. And the path is always new, because as a spiritual discipline, the labyrinth is a path of contemplation, reflection, prayer. On the surface of it, it is a place for silence, and for speaking into silence, for speaking to one unseen. But beneath the surface, walking the labyrinth is a profound discipline in listening, in active silence, in finding movement and rhythm in the stillnesses underneath and in between every day's noise. Walking the labyrinth is an exercise in finding the voice speaking in whispers underneath the whirlwind of sound.